Hello good people. This is a review video for the upcoming quiz on the continent map and early inhabitants for Mr. Lancaster's social studies class. That quiz, I'll put it down here, quiz is on 9-23-1-6. So that is next week. Okay, one of the things on the quiz is being able to identify the continents and oceans from the continent map. We went over these in class. You do not need to know uh, the North Atlantic versus the South Atlantic, just knowing that the Atlantic Ocean is right here is enough. So we need to know all the continents. That's North America, South America, Europe, Africa, Asia, Australia, and way down, Antarctica. There are seven of them. Also, we need to know the oceans. Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, Indian Ocean, and way down here, the Southern Ocean. And of course, this map is flat, but really the Earth is not, so we see the Pacific Ocean right over here, but we also see the Pacific Ocean over here. Here is the same map, but this time with all the information covered up so that you can test yourself. All right, I'll go around it with you, see if you can name them at home before I show them. First one, right here. What is it? In three, two, one. It's North America. All right, next. What continent is this? In three, two, one. South America. Next, what continent is this? In three, two, one. Europe. Next, what continent is this? In three, two, one. It's Africa. What continent is this? In three, two, one. It's Asia. What continent is this? In three, two, one. Australia. Last but certainly not least, all the way down here. What continent is this? In three, two, one. Antarctica. Okay, on to the oceans. We'll start over here on the left side. This ocean in three, two, one. The Pacific. And of course, that's also over here because it wraps around the globe. Next, what ocean is this? A hint. I said you didn't have to know north or south. You just needed to know that it is the Atlantic Ocean. Excellent. Next up over here, this is the Indian Ocean, and very far down, well that's a big hint, it is the Southern Ocean. We also had some key terms that had to do with the first inhabitants into North America. One of the key terms was migration. This is the movement of people or animals from one region to another. And we talked about that this happens over time. This is not just like from one day to the next, but over a large period of time, people or animals are traveling great distances. Another key term we had was hunter-gatherer. These were people who hunted animals and gathered wild plants for their food. These people had to be nomadic, which means they had to be able and ready to move around. As animals moved on, they would have to follow the herds, or as they ate up the wild plants in one area, they would have to move on to another area to find more to eat. Another concept we talked about had to do with a land bridge. And this is what scientists believe was used for early people to inhabit North America. 
So the idea is that there were people who came from this area, present-day Russia, into present-day Alaska. Well, how did they do this? Well, a long time ago, and we're talking between 10,000 and 100,000 years ago, the Earth was colder, and it, much of the northern part of the Earth was covered with ice, and so this area would have been covered with ice, making it kind of like a bridge between Russia and Alaska so that people would have been able to travel, by walking of course, uh, between Russia and present-day Alaska. So this land bridge uh, came across this area called the Bering Strait. Our last key term here, the word environment, and this is the climates and landscapes that surround living things. And also, as we discussed in class, the environment influences everything that people do, how they act, what foods they eat, what kinds of buildings they make. And one of the examples we had was the school. We saw a school in Bali and versus a school in the United States and how the environment in Bali may influence the type of school that they have. <clears throat> okay, that's it. Just a short little review video. Watch it a few times to help you learn the terms and we will see you soon.